question with that roster growing. And Skip, I'll give it to you first. Do you believe with this pick uh, that the Jets may have found their quarterback for the future? Stephen A. Smith, I believe they did. Hmm. I believe in Bryce Petty, and I did before the draft. And I can't remember if I said so to you on the air. I know I tweeted it. But I thought Bryce Petty, especially at this spot in the draft, was the steal of the entire draft for the New York Jets. You guys know the great George Whitfield, the sure. quarterback tutor, right? Yeah, our colleague. Do you, do you know George? Yes. Yeah, okay. I heard George recently on ESPN Radio talking about Bryce Petty. And remember, George tutored at the same time for about a month, Jameis and Mariota and Bryce Petty, those three together for a month at George's school out in San Diego. And George was wondering out loud why Bryce Petty wasn't in the debate or the mix with Mariota for the second best quarterback in the draft. He thought maybe it would be a lot of teams thinking, should I go Mariota or should I go Bryce? That's how much George thinks of Bryce Petty. Mm -hmm. I love Bryce Petty when he's at Baylor. Again, I'm not saying he's going to be a superstar, but he can be the starting quarterback, the answer for the New York Jets. He is big. He is tough. He is strong, strong-armed, not, not huge-armed, but above-average-armed, and naturally born accurate, naturally born. And he is a gamer. Remember, he, re he led that astonishing 21-point comeback. Remember when they were 21 down to TCU at home? Yep. It was the game of the year as far as the final standings. 58 Remember final that? Score. There you go. Thank you very much. And then he went on to the Cotton Bowl against a very good Michigan State defense. We were at Michigan State, obviously, earlier this bit in the football season. And he threw for a Cotton Bowl record 550 yards against Michigan State. Again, I've never been the biggest Geno fan. I, 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 I like him, but I don't love him as the long-term answer for the New York Jets. But Bryce Petty will be it. I'm not saying he'll be in the starting lineup next year because he was in a run-and-shoot Baylor attack, and the transition might be a little rocky for him. But once he gets a hold of the pro-style offense, he will be able to operate it at a higher level than Geno would ever have been able to. Skip, I totally agree with you. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Bryce Petty and talking to him. I like his confidence. I like his swag. Did you meet him in yeah, Dallas? He, no, no, no. He came here, and okay. he was on my radio show Good. Uh, right here, and I, I enjoyed talking to him. He's very, very confident. Uh, he obviously can make all the pro throws. This is what yep. they say about him. They question his ability to read defenses and what have you and, you know, not playing in the pro-style offense, um, you know, not really getting the ball behind center. I don't have any questions about him. I like his size. I like his arm strength. I love the fact that the Jets put him with somebody. They're not asking him to use the, to utilize Eric Decker as their number one receiver. They've got Brandon Marshall. They've got Decker. Mm. they got this kid. Zach Stacy out of St. Louis now. Who Van, to get Vanderbilt traded. University. Who, thank who, you very who much. Get, I'm sorry, where? Vanderbilt. He went to Vanderbilt. He wanted to, who wanted to get thank traded. Who wanted okay. to get traded from St. Louis the minute they, they yep. drafted Todd Gurley. Yep. Now, you still got Bilal Powell and Chris mm -hmm. Ivey, Stephen Ridley as well. So they're loaded at the running back spot. Mm -hmm. So you're loaded at the running back spot. You've got a legit number one receiver right now. Mm -hmm. Legit number two in Eric Decker. Mm -hmm. You're going to have... That a, Devin Smith they draft from Ohio State. That's Not right. He can, play, he can play as well. Yep. And now it's just a matter of the quarterback. Now... Yep. Think about this. Geno Smith, Ryan Fitzpatrick combined, I don't know, what is it, 89 starts or whatever it is. I'm looking at a guy like Ryan Fitzpatrick. What's the number here? Their record combined is 44-73-1 and one with 148 touchdowns, 135 interceptions. Fitzpatrick had 89 starts in his career. Geno Smith has 29. Fitzpatrick has never had a winning record. All right? I'm not sold on him. I've never been sold on him. So you're talking about Bryce Petty and what he could potentially do. Then when you look at the defense, they drafted Leonard Williams, who is very right. impressive with us. Like He's that. your edge rusher. Yeah. Okay? I spoke to Tom Bowles, he came on my radio yeah. show last week as well. He said they're still going to stay with the 3-4 as opposed to the 4-3 because they're going to have four linebackers. They're going to have three defensive linemen. I said, you land, you, you lining up all these offensive linemen. He said, Bill Parcells told me once, you can never have enough defensive tackle, enough defensive linemen mm -hmm. in the sport of football. So when you look at the fact that they're loaded with defensive mm -hmm. linemen, all right, and then you combine that with Cromartie and Revis coming there and Milliner, he's got two mm -hmm. years under his belt as well. You you retained David Harrison. You kept him from going to Buffalo. This defense could very will will likely be a top three defense, arguably the number one defense in the NFL next season. And if that happens mm. and you can do anything offensively, I got news for you. The Patriots, for the first time, conceivably, the Jets might sit there and come after them in the AFC East division. Look at that.
prediction. How, how far are you willing to tiptoe out on that limb right now? <laughs> I, 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 I got to I gotta see the offense together. I mean, like, okay. with this preseason, I got to see it. Defensively, I have no questions about the Jets. Yeah. I have zero questions. Because of Tom Bowles and because of the personnel, <laughs> I just think adding Lennon Williams to the mix just makes it, bless you, I just think mm -hmm. add, adding Lennon Williams to the mix just makes them that even, even that much more formidable. But because you already got Revis with Kamadi, Sheldon Richardson, Muhammad Wilkinson, mm -hmm. Copels, and these, well, I mean, these, well, this yeah. kid Harrison's on their defensive line as well. They're no joke. Defensively, we know what they're going to bring. Offensively is the huge question mark. But going after a quarterback who can throw, being loaded at the running backs, they have four mm -hmm. legitimate running backs. And then you combine that with Brandon Marshall having something to prove, especially after the awful year the Chicago Bears mm -hmm. had last year before he was moved out of there. He don't realize how much he's going to benefit from being gone from there. You yeah. don't even have to travel to New York. You don't have to fly to New York now when you want to do work for Showtime. You can just go across town after practice. The point True. is, is that he's in a really good situation. And I think they're going to put, if they can do anything offensively, they're going to be hellacious. Yep. The Jets are going to be really good. But even though the Tom Brady that we saw at the Derby and then at the fight wasn't at his best on Saturday night, he'll I, be at his best I next football season. I thought he was fine on hey, Saturday he night. What you, what you mean? He looked a little no, wait, wobbly to me. I just think a, little... a lot of oh, people wait, 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 were wait, having wait, some wait, fun. Wait, wait, Not just him alone. Oh, no, Not wait, just him alone. It doesn't matter if it was. It's the off season. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm fine way. with it. I said he was fine next He wasn't behind the wheel of a car. I totally agree. So why are you bringing it up? I just said that guy is going to be fine when it's time to play football. He was football chilling and having a good time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He wasn't the only Well, one. don't disrespect him. I'm not disrespecting yeah. you all. Well, you said the Jets Here might dethrone Tom Brady. I'm saying they might, they might knock him off. I in regards to former that. Baylor quarterback Bryce Petty, he was Wish the consensus Big 12 Offensive Maybe. Player of the Year in 2013. Again, perhaps the quarterback of the future, so says Bayless. Coming up next, folks, did you guys watch the fight? It was 100 bucks. Would you be willing to pay another 100 bucks for a rematch? Good question. That's the real question. Mm -hmm. We discussed it on the other side of the break. First take, an hour down, another hour to go. We hope you're enjoying it. We'll be right back in just a few moments. Or at Chase.com slash Small Business Week. And in part by USAA, proudly serving the financial needs of current and former military members and their families. You're going to win. We're having a conversation about who would win... Uh, an office seat. Here we go. Move. <laughs> Why did LeBron James lose his headband earlier this season after wearing it basically his entire career? Well, he told the Cleveland Plain Dealer that he essentially wanted to be one with his teammates. He didn't want to stand out or blend out. He wanted to blend in. I'm paraphrasing. Last time he went into a game without a headband was a preseason matchup against Detroit in his rookie season. So, Stephen A., you buying that that explanation? I buy the explanation. He's all in, but I think that he basically grew up. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that your hairline's going to recede. It's Who's a better witness of that than me? Uh -huh. I, mean, yes, I, mean, I am the witness and the uh -huh. expert in that regard. And by the way, I would just like to say this, and I am not playing around. I'm being very serious mm -hmm. and complimentary. When you have a wife as gorgeous as LeBron James has, right, right. you don't need to be concerned about how you look. Right. right, right. He, he, I mean, please. He right. has overachieved big time. You know, I, I must say, seriously, from the heart, I like LeBron better with the headband. I cannot get used to this look from LeBron mm -hmm. James because I thought he looked better with it on because he looked more intimidating to me. Oh, please. It's like, that was LeBron. No, no, seriously. The headband was He, he just doesn't look right without it. Without he looks, he looks Wait, fine to me. He looks like he's not dressed. Guys? You know, like, he's cool. He's cool. He's Can cool. we see the photo, please? I just You said he doesn't look... Right. First of all, yeah. so first of all, LeBron is the best player in the world. You understand? He's got a physique that most men sure. would, would would die to have because yeah. he's a phenomenal yes. shape and tone, oh. muscular, and all of that Does other stuff. Does he look odd to you, Stephen? He, he doesn't look odd to me at all. He looks fine. And, and not only that, again, and, and, and not only that, he ain't wearing the headband when he's out. When he showed up with the ESPYS with his lovely wife and what mm -hmm. have you. I mean, come on now. He he's good. He mm -hmm. don't need anything. He don't need to worry about no damn headband. Mm. Go out there and win. Good. That's the end result. He looks good. Yeah. He's fine. So He's allow fine. me to say, yeah, Floyd, you. congratulations on the victory. What does that mean? I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. You're hating. What are the air quotes? He won I, I, did I do air quotes? You, you did. Oh, it was like a Floyd man, slip. Your man, you, you your man got exposed. Win. Your man the, got the exposed, win. outboxed, uh, and schooled. Period. First I like this hat, and Floyd. And Thank you. 10 a.m. Eastern. I contributed to the money team. We will see you tomorrow. Yes, you did. Have a good one.